Welcome back, everybody. My name is Adam Brewer, and I'm a senior technical specialist at Microsoft covering our security, compliance, and identity solutions. And today marks part three in a series of video demonstrations of some of our coolest security solutions. And I am so excited about the topic for week three. It's passwordless authentication. Now, I just want to say a message up front. I normally promise that these videos are minimally edited and as alive of a demo as possible, stream of consciousness straight through. Given the complexities and what I'm going to show you today, because I'm going to jump from Windows 10 PC to a Mac OS device to an iOS device, I needed to do a little more editing to stitch all that together. But I promise this is all real world stuff running in my demo environment. I haven't done any sleight of hand or anything else. So just want to put that message out there up front. So for today, I mentioned we're talking about passwordless. Now, why is passwordless so important? Well, long and short of it is passwords are irreparable. Even technologies like multi-factor authentication don't solve the underlying problems with passwords. They just paper over them. They just mitigate them a bit, but they don't fix the actual problems. So we have to, at some point, as uh, a technology people move beyond passwords. And the way we do that is with credible alternatives like passwordless technologies we're going to talk about today. And as it turns out, I've got three great solutions that can solve different use cases. So I'm going to walk through those briefly, then explain the technology under the covers that ties them all together, and then we'll dive into some demos. So the first technology we're going to talk about is Windows Hello for Business. Now, this has been around for several years, essentially since the launch of Windows 10, and it only requires a business class PC like this Surface Pro here would be great or anything else that ships with a TPM. From there, you configure Windows Hello for Business, and it requires one of two things. You can either solve it with a biometric, so that can be my face or a fingerprint or any other biometric reader you have on a device. That could also be something as simple as a pin, and pin can be numeric, it can never expire. We don't need all the complexity of passwords, and I'll explain why in a moment. But that's pretty much it. And from there, every time I sign in, I just have to provide one of those options and I'm off to the races. It's really clean from a user experience perspective. It's actually way better than even plugging in a password. And so Windows Hello for Business is perfect for scenarios where I have a single person assigned to a single Windows 10 PC, when I have that one-to-one -one relationship, which I think is most devices in the corporate world, although we understand there's shared devices, and that's where we move to FIDO2 keys. So FIDO2 keys are an emerging new standard using things like a YubiKey here, or like this fingerprint reading device here and you plug them into the USB slot or an NFC reader so they can be on like a badge. And from there, I provide either again, a biometric on the device itself. So that fingerprint reader, or I do a pin. And again, I'm off to the races. Now the difference with FIDO, FIDO2 is that it's perfect for multi-user scenarios where I have multiple users sharing a single device. So I think of healthcare, I think of manufacturing, I think of retail. In so many different businesses, you have multiple people share a single PC. Well, if they can just tap their badge or plug in their security key, they can still securely sign on to that PC without a password. So really cool stuff here. And then the final method is kind of the method that fills in the cracks between everything else. It's the Microsoft Authenticator app running right here in this example on an iPhone 6S Plus or any iPhone or Android phone. And the way that works is I get a prompt in a website. I match a number to prove I'm the one sitting in front of the PC. And I do my biometric or my device pin. And again, off and running. So we're going to walk through all of these scenarios and all of these technologies. But it's important to know really the difference between uh, Windows Low for Business is a Windows-centric technology, but the other two are completely platform agnostic. So FIDO2 Authenticator app I can use on Windows, on Mac OS, on Linux, on iOS, on Android, on Chrome OS, Chromebook. Any of those work with that. So truly not your father's Microsoft, cross-platform support, broad support, pretty much any use case you can think of, I think we've got you covered. So anyhow, let's dive into some demos and let's start with our Windows PC. We're here on the Windows 10 desktop and we're going to start with a demonstration of Windows Hello for Business. 
Now, two methods you're going to see today are going to be facial recognition as well as PIN. PIN is interesting because it's different than a password as it requires this combination of device and PIN. I can't go use this PIN on another device. And facial recognition is similar to what you know of Face ID on an iPhone, where it's a combination of an infrared camera as well as a traditional camera. Now, Windows Hello is great for scenarios where you have a single user assigned to a single device. So here I'm going to do PIN, six digits, numeric, plug it in, and here I am on my Windows desktop. Now let's go back to the lock screen and let's try the facial recognition. So I'm going to go over to my sign-in options because I don't want to do PIN. And this time I'm going to select face recognition. And in the blink of an eye, I'm signed into my Windows 10 desktop. Now let's talk about FIDO2 keys. So these are security keys that you plug into a PC and they're perfect for multi-user scenarios where you have multiple people sharing a single device. So we're going to again head back to the lock screen, and this time we're going to notice that there's other options here beyond the two I've already showed you, like traditional password, as well as security key. So let's do that. Now I've already plugged my security key in, so all I have to do is touch it, and there I am on my Windows desktop. Okay, so right here we're going to do a demo of passwordless authentication with the Microsoft Authenticator app. So the way we do this is we have the app running on our iPhone or on our Android device, and we go to sign in through any normal browser window, essentially. And this could be for a first-party Microsoft application. This could be for a third-party SaaS application. This could be for an internal application that's hosted inside your corporate network. All of those are valid opportunities to use passwordless authentication. So the way it works is like this. I plug in my user ID and tap Next. And what's going to happen is I'm going to get prompted to match the number on my phone. So I'm going to grab my iPhone here, fire up the Authenticator app, and there's the number 83. So I'm going to match that. And then I'm going to be prompted to do Touch ID. So whatever biometric your phone has is going to be supported. So we'll tap that fingerprint. And I'm off and running. I'm signed into Outlook here in just a moment as soon as it loads. And that's it. That is passwordless authentication with the Authenticator app. Now, of course, that works anywhere you've got a web browser. iOS, Android, macOS, Windows 10, Chromebook, doesn't matter. Completely cross-platform. Now, another scenario leverages FIDO2 security keys. These are physical hardware devices that I showed earlier in the video. And again, truly cross-platform. So to demo this, I'm actually on a Macintosh right now running Google Chrome. So no Microsoft involved from any perspective here, right? Apple operating system, Google browser, and here we go. We're going to go sign in, but this time with the security key. So notice there's an option at the bottom for sign in with Windows Hello or a security key. And notice also that I haven't even plugged in a user ID. So we'll go to sign in, and it says it's going to pop up a prompt, and we'll say this is a USB security key. And now it says insert your key and touch it. So I'm going to touch it there with my fingerprint. And boom, again, signed in to my Outlook Online with no password required. Heck, this time I didn't even have to put in my user ID. And again, a solution that's cross-platform, not Microsoft-centric. So whether you're using Authenticator app, whether you're using FIDO2, you can use those on practically any device that supports a web browser and has a USB port. Or there's even now FIDO2 keys that support NFC as well. So hopefully that gave you a flavor of passwordless authentication of the three different methods available to you. And Windows Hello for Business is going to be great for those single user scenarios where I have a single user assigned to a single Windows 10 device. In if I have multiple users sharing a single device, then FIDO2 is going to be a great option. Assign them each a security key and they can plug it into whatever workstation they're using that day. They can roam from device to device and a device can support multiple users. An Authenticator app on Android and iOS is great for filling in all the cracks of all the in-between scenarios. Anytime I'm going to be prompted to sign in and I wouldn't be able to use Windows Hello or a FIDO key, Authenticator app can be there on mobile, on desktop, on Chromebook, doesn't matter. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you want to see more. Give me a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Hit that like button, hit that share button, and I'll keep these coming. Thanks so much for watching.